Every year, the channel's National Kids Cup has gotten bigger and even better. It's season six of the football competition, and this edition, in partnership with Eco Football, will showcase grassroots talents. Four primary schools from Lego State will go against opponents from 12 different states of the Federation to determine who will become the champion. Come and witness their actions and thrills as this kids show their love and passion for the beautiful game. For more information, visit ChannelsTV.com. Channels National Kids Cup. We catching them. Yeah. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. It's five minutes past eight. We're joined now by Ramatu uh, Bala Usman, who is a former president, National Council of Women's Society. Thank you for coming on this morning. You're welcome. Well, I haven't seen, of course, information just keeps developing. It keeps happening, not most on a regular basis, but the video that is making the rounds now, does that change the topic of discussion for you in any way, and how? Uh, yeah, well, it does not, because we are moving along the same line. The issue on ground uh, on the Chibok uh, uh, children uh, abduction touches the hearts of every, not only Nigerian women. You can see that even Mrs. Barack Obama carried a placard, bring back our girls. So this is uh, an issue that has overwhelmed Nigerians as a whole. And that is why, I mean, I, it is a great joy for all of us to see Mr. President, you know, have this great coalition. He's the first African president that have, you know, you know, gone out to reach out to the international communities. Please come to our aid. After all, Nigeria has been keeping peace in various countries. We have uh, very good soldiers, right? And uh, for us to have this problem that has taken us aback is better imagined than told. But for this uh, great coalition, we know that we are going to get hold of this Boko Haram or the insurgents, as the, the case may be, and we crush them. Because these girls that have been, you know, adopted, they, it is like wiping a whole generation away. Because they are bona fide future mothers, right? And so, um, well, I must say that we are not happy with the happiness. It initially, Nigerians thought the issue had a political undertone, but we have, we are now, we now know that the insurgency is real. And so it's not issue of talking about who did this, who did that, no. That, we have to put that at the back of our minds and face the realities of life. And what's the reality? And the reality is the fact that these international communities have the technology to come and help us fish out our daughters from wherever they are. And you would even this, I mean, terrorism is in every, is everywhere. You can see that America, being the largest or biggest country of the world, America is respected by all and sundry. They have all the security, uh, you know, gadgets. But don't forget the 2011, which also affected their own country. And these uh, terrorists were even trained within the country and known to the Americans. So we are glad that they are coming here. You see, uh, Britain. I'm sure you meant 9-11, but, you know, th that's on, on one end. Yeah. Does it bother you? Much as you said, we should move beyond, you know, we should move beyond politics. Yeah. And we should face the reality. Yes. Does it bother you that the stories that we initially heard from Chibok, you know, we still cannot seem to reconcile all of the stories. There doesn't seem to be one single story in terms of what exactly transpired on the night the girls were abducted. Yeah. Does, it, does it bother you? It bothers me much, but whether it bothers me and you or not, we must find solution to this problem. And this solution is this strategic network of having this coalition. 
I'm telling you. Because if we go back to saying that this man, uh, the governor said, it, 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 uh, it is just drawing us back. As far as I'm concerned, we, are, we have great minds. Nigerians are great people. D don't you think that that could also hold the key in terms of getting the girl? So some people will say no. that if you know where the rain began to beat you, maybe you will understand how to begin to dry yourself. Oh, well, we, at, at least the, um, the network of all the stakeholders working on the release of these abducted children will have to start from somewhere. They will use these uh, informations that have been on ground before and, and to build on it, you know, with the support of all the security, I mean, the uh, gadgets that they are going to Nigeria is let us not look at it as if the Americans, the Britons, the uh, people from France, the Israelis, uh, and the Chinese are coming to stay in Nigeria. No, they are only going to bring the technology, the intelligence, the whatever gadgets to help us trace our children. Well, no doubt, uh, so, parents, uh, uh, Sarah Cotton, their parents yeah. will be traumatized, and I'm sure you must have uh, spoken to some uh, relatives or families of some of these yeah. uh, young Nigerians that have been abducted. Uh, is there anything anyone is doing to help them psychologically before this is over? Yes. Or are they left alone to f go through all of this? No, I don't. They are not left alone. I have a touch with one of the women from Chibok who was a chairman of that Chibok local government before. You can see on the screen, you have read in the pages of papers that civil society organizations, especially women groups, are doing a great deal of work to, you know, psychologically, you know, address these issues so that the mothers can be stable and the parents can be stable. It's not only mothers that are affected. You could see some fathers even crying openly like that. You know, so it's a very difficult situation and I know that nobody is sleeping over this issue, to be candid. Do you think Never. it would be a good idea for parents to speak publicly about that video in terms of IDing their words or they should just speak to the security agencies and let them continue their work or what? I think uh, they should, the time for them to have spoken publicly, I believe, has passed. Let them speak to the security agents to open up every Nigerian that is approached should have an open mind to give information that will help us towards uh, and, and on the way forward rather than hiding and being shy of our issues. It has happened, it has happened. So we have to aggressively address the situation. The security should not be coming out on air to tell us the steps they are taking because it will ginger the you know, insurgents to also plan uh, you know, other ways of uh, attacking the country. Security issues are secret matters. We are supposed to only know the end result. But you know, uh, some Nigerians also spoke up about the kind of information that was made available to them when this kind of thing happened, and they thought that it could have been better. Perhaps uh, that should be addressed. Do you think otherwise? Well, they, uh, I, uh, if it is, well, the security people know their job. They know it. They don't have to dance to the tune of, uh, you know, lay people like me. You understand? Is the country we are looking at. This is a Nigerian project. What about parents? Because parents will need information about what is Parents happening. have security people. They should pass that information to their representatives in Chibok to address the situ situation with the parents in-house. We are exposing our uh, you know, strategies. By to me, and as a lay woman, I think so. We have SSS in Chibok. Don't we? We have police, we have all the security officers down there. But they can, they can speak to the parents without necessarily revealing strategy. They can talk to them about what is happening or what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, that is, I said that the, the, the security agents from there should communicate with the parents. You understand? But coming out on air to expose the strat strategies 
security wise i don't think it's right what were your thoughts sorry yeah. chamberlain what were your thoughts when you saw the video yesterday oh i, I thought um believe you me i don't know uh whether because in the past we me and you knew that shakao was killed but now shakao is alive as a nigerian i think they want to bring religious crisis among us we must be very very careful this is a critical situation in our in the history of our country and don't forget that this is the only country that belongs to us you, you no matter how you're talking about the video yeah that video girls, was not right? good enough mm -hmm. religiously every nigerian has the right to practice his or her religion mm -hmm. right so if that Shakao is a Nigerian that has gone to Islamize Christians, it's wrong. As far as I'm concerned, it's wrong. But and how can even, I know that if a human being is faced with a very serious challenge, the reaction becomes very sharp. Otherwise, I will say that how comes that a Christian can recite the Quran so fast like that within this short period of time. Mm. Do you understand? So you also Is have your doubts about, you know, I'm the a human being. of those of the girls the, being As there. a human being, I will always have a doubt mm. unless proved otherwise. Okay. That but is my own Assuming thinking. that those are the girls, are you at least happy that there is a video of them? Mm. Well, well, I'm happy that they are alive and safe. Does that mean you believe that? That is assuming those are the girls. And now you can see that if these are the girls, well, we will not be happy at the same time because that is not their home. That's not their home. That's not where they're supposed to be. Whatever the case is, God is supreme over all beings and things. Insha'Allah, and by the grace of God, these children will be found. You know, you got me thinking here. And when they are found, we will now know the true situation of things as for now, we are like dreamers. We're dreaming. 